Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you watch this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So, news that we've just gotten is that Supreme Court Senior Counsel spill the beans on Raila's arrest and how Raila's arrest was thwarted and how it was discussed in the in the cabinet. So the Sunday uh, standard has revealed that there was a plot to have Raila arrested, but that plot, after it was tabled in the cabinet, the cabinet secretary deemed it unnecessary for the government to make that move because it was going to cause tension and owing to the fact that Raila commands more than 60% of our votes here in Kenya and in Kenya at large, they realized that if they made that move, then it was going to cause an ease in the nation and a lot of suffering to those people who don't support Raila Molodinga. So Sunday Standard has reported a well-coordinated plan whose intent was to arrest Azimio Laumoja One Kenya leader, Raila Molodinga, and who also who rushed to stop that plan has been revealed in that Sunday Standard. So it is alleged that Raila's lawyer uh, at the Supreme Court, that is Senior Counsel Feroz Norridge revealed that there was a plan by the KK government where they wanted to arrest Odinga, but it was the pressure from within the cabinet that saw this move aborted. And this is what the senior council said. Kenya would be destroyed as a nation if we let it return to one-man rule. Last week, the regime sought to arrest Raila. Only pressure from within the cabinet prevented this uh, grave mistake. To arrest Raila is admission the action of the police against the crowd is really directed to the removal of Raila from political scene as this arrest cannot bring down the price of petrol. That is what senior counsel said. So I'm seeing uh, an article here from the Sunday Standard whereby in this article, there are cartoons here, whereby there is Uhuru Kenyatta and probably with Raila on one side. And uh, the other side, there is uh, Ruto and uh, probably this is Gachagua, according to the, to, 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 to the cartoons here. And it's captioned, let us not politicize the work of our police. I mean, that's the message that has been, uh, you know, uh, shared by the two sides. From here, you can see then, you know, I think this is then when Uhuru was power, and this is now when uh, Ruto and uh, Gachago are in power. They are all sending the same message. Let us not politicize. Back then, uh, according to this cartoon, I understand that back then, Ruto made this statement, let us not politicize the police or of, let us not politicize the work of our police. Back then, Ruto said this, this statements, and now, uh, I mean, the, those statements are coming coming back again. So, in this uh, newspaper, at the op opinion column, it is the, the title there is Is Kenya Kwanza laying ground for return to dark days of oppression? That is again Feroz Nor Noroji, Noroj saying. So the city council has accused uh, the regime of laying grounds for return of dark days of oppression. He argued that this will not be possible as Kenya now Kenya now had a new constitution and a new breed of Kenyans were pre present. Uh, he has gone ahead to note that the current uh, president did not support this new constitution. This is what uh, Feroz is saying, the senior council, Supreme Court senior council. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
this brings us to this uh, analysis. And in this analysis, we would like to dissect this position that uh, Feroz Norridge has uh, set. So the senior council is exposing a deeper plot that was thwarted uh, actually in the cabinet. And that deeper plot was meant to, I think, arrest Raila Moludinga. So according to what Feroz has uh, exposed here is that that plan was tabled in the cabinet's uh, meeting, just like I've said when I started this analysis, and that plan could have been, uh, there could have been deeper deliberations on this matter and the possible consequences to this arrest, if at all it took place. So, the arrest, if at all it took place, would have led to a lot of infighting. So Kenya being a very peaceful country, I think that's the reason why uh, cabinet secretaries realized that there was no need to do that. It was not, ne not necessary to do that arrest. I think this was after Saba Saba, successful Saba Saba rally, which uh, Kenyan citizens trooped to the Nairobi CBD soon after coming from Kamukunji. They subsequently joined uh, made it to Nairobi CBD. I think this is why the government seems to have realized that well, if Raila could make it to the Nairobi CBD, in fact, he did make it twice. That was there was that first ins instance of Kamukunji to Nairobi CBD. There was another instance of uh, Raila boarding a matatu to Nairobi, and then there was a very huge rally there. And uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, nothing happened that uh, was against the law but that meeting was very successful and very peaceful so i think the following day again there was another one of nairobi so all these uh, like three consecutive meetings showed a picture the picture that it portrayed to this administration the kenya Kwanza administration was that raila was gaining grounds by the day there was nothing they could do because the place was already crowded and the tactics that Raila Molodinga used to get to uh, to gain access to Nairobi, the elish tua is serikali, na doma na le serikali mekuwa, dono na kamba serikali sahi inatumia force kubwa sana, just trying to make sure that people don't repeat whatever they did. That was the access in Nairobi CBD. They've been trying to contain people kwa slums uko, kwa their own residences uko. Even though people have been saying that there was excessive use of force. To contain these people. So, unapata kwamba the biggest uh, issue here ilikuwa ni kwamba Raila aliingia Nairobi CBD na umati mkubwa sana wa watu na ikajitokeza kwamba Raila ame access CBD. Mind you, the constitution uh, guarantees that a million march to state house can host the president. So, I think what the government is trying to do is to discourage any kind of march of the one that was seen in Saba Saba celebration because that was pretty pretty successful. You remember the, 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 the plan there was that each and every region would hold its own Saba Saba celebration. So that kind of celebration, they look in a little convergence ya watu kuingia kwa Nairobi CBD. Na hii ndio mana unona Feruz, the Supreme Court Senior Council, has said that that plan was tabled, the plan to have Raila Mulinga arrested soon after making those almost three you know three consecutive trips to nairobi cbd after those successful trips what followed was that raila hata rusiwa tena kufika nairobi cbd hii yote ni kwamba hiyo maandamano ambayo ilifanyika wakati huo which was largely peaceful ilishtua hii serikali this the government could have been threatened by that move so that's why you find that there are those number number of arrests up and nyingi the, the, the funny thing is that Kenyans have vowed that <laughs> what I delay na maandamano. So, we, in fact, some of them are saying that Raila si lazima uje kwa maandamano. Sewe katu nyumbani. This issue is us and the government. That is what the people are saying. So, I think that explains why Raila had to exit uh, the scene. But you see, even the fact, despite the fact that he, he exited the this political scene, but Maurice Ongeta, 
during that yesterday's audio conversation, he said that when he was asked by those people who had abducted him, I mean, we are not sure whether it was police or, but those people who had abducted him were wanted to know where Raila Molodinga was and the plans of Raila Molodinga. So those plans and where he was are the main reasons why he was held. He was supposed to reveal these details, but I think he never revealed those details because he said that according to him, he didn't know where Raila Molodinga is in because normally he reports to work and then an power plan happen. So he didn't have any prior plans on how the demonstrations were going to be taken. So that's why they held him for those three days that uh, demonstrations were announced. So the three days was supposed to make sure that he reveals the whereabouts of Raila Molodinga, but he didn't do that. Also, we talked about the issue of Kalonzo and the house arrest. So, Feroz, Senior Council Feroz unleashes very crucial information to the public that there was a deliberate plan to have Raila Molodinga arrested. So, the cabinet talked about the effects of that kind of arrest. If I look at the latest happenings, ladies and gentlemen, the latest arrests and what everything everybody is talking about online regarding what is happening at in, in at Nyalenda, if those things are correct, then I think it is certain who akikisha kwa mwananchi ateti if at all Raila Molodinga atashikwa. Because I look at a foresee a scenario by now one day he will be arrested. So by the time he is arrested, I think police on Daka wanyesha wananchi kwamba how ndio kusema kwamba ile siku ataamua arrest hakuna mtu anafaa toke na kupiket na kudemonstrate na kufanya nini watakuwa wamemarest Raila Molodinga na uta deal na yeye that's maybe that's one of the messages that is being uh, sent here ladies and gentlemen but i've told if, if i told that's the case ladies and gentlemen that i think it is just a matter of time before we find out whether this will happen if at all it will happen but if it do not happen then i think peace will continue prevailing so ladies and gentlemen can you tell us below the comment section there what do you think about this uh, details from Senior Council Feroz and what the Sunday Standard has exposed in the opinion column. Tell us below the comment section there. I'd like to urge any visitor who has not subscribed to this channel to please consider subscribing to Yolino TV and give this video a like. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.